In this video, I'll show you how to create a turret which follows your mouse cursor, shoots projectiles, and kills your enemies. All right, first thing is we'll need our turret. So I've drawn these two sprites here, and I'll attach them in the description if you would like to use these exact ones just to test. Uh, just one note, whatever turret you use, make sure that the pivot point is exactly where you would like it to rotate or else it will look a little bit strange. Uh, next, let's create a C sharp script for this turret. And let's actually attach it to the rotating part of our turret. Open it up. All right, first we need to get our mouse position. So let's grab a camera, which we'll save a reference to. So camera. And then in our awake function, Let's set that to camera.main. Now we can say cam.screen to world point. And let's actually put in our mouse position. Now, as we're using 2D, we don't need our Z axis. So let's zero that out. So if we head back into Unity, we'll see this green arrow here is the up rotation or the up direction. And all we effectively need to do is point our up direction towards the mouse cursor, okay? And it's as simple as that. So I'll show you how to do that. Transform.up equals mouse position. And if we press play now, that should be all we need to actually look towards our camera, uh, our pointer. Now, we can add a little bit to this. We can add a little bit of uh, realism. So we could create a float, and this could be rotation speed. And let's default this to one. And actually we could make this a range slider and we'll default it from minimum one, maximum 100, which should probably be just about instant. And now instead of setting it directly to mouse position, we can set it to vector uh, move towards and our current will be the transform up. And our goal is the mouse position. And then it will be rotation speed times time dot delta time. Have a look. Yeah, and there you go. So now it's it kind of like slowly moves towards it. That's obviously painfully slow. So if we are up to nine or something, there's just like that tiny little bit of lag to it and it makes it feel like uh, a little bit better than just snapping to it in my opinion. Probably not for the player, but uh, if it's an enemy, you obviously don't want it just constantly just aim locking on the player. You would, you'd want to give the player a little bit of a chance. So let's actually shoot something from this turret. Um, I've already got a projectile here, but I'm going to destroy them, uh, delete them just so I can build it from scratch with you guys. So I've got this little projectile that I drew, a little plasma ball or something. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach a circle collider to it. I'm going to attach, and that's way too big. There, uh, a rigid body 2D, and I'll turn off my gravity scale. And then let's write a C sharp script, call this projectile. I'll attach it and open up the projectile script. Okay, so first we need a reference to our rigid body as that's how we were going to propel the, the projectile. And we'll need to set how fast the projectile flies. So let's have a speed variable. And now we need a way for the turret to tell the bullet what to do once it's spawned. So I'm gonna make an init function here and it's going to send in a direction. So all, all we need from the turret is which direction it's currently facing. And then in the, in the projectile, we can say a rigid body velocity equals direction times speed. Then we'll need to actually uh, destroy the enemy if we hit them and then also destroy the projectile itself. So let's go, to, let's hook into the on collision enter 2D and this takes a collision 2D. And uh, so I have got an enemy script here. I'll just quickly show you. It's literally just got an explosion prefab and a function called die. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say call the transform get component. And this is easy as, a, as the enemy is the only thing in the scene. And I'll just call die on it. And then I'll also destroy this projectile itself. And that's all we need in the projectile script. So on our projectile, which my face is blocking, move myself over here. On the speed, let's set it to something like three, and then let's send in our rigid body and make a prefab of this projectile. Just like that. Now back on our turret script. Okay, we need a reference to our projectile prefab. Oop, whoops. Projectile, projectile prefab. And I cannot spell that word. Projectile prefab. And yet again, my face is in the way. Go really small now over there, really up there. In our update function, let's check for input get mouse button down and left click. And then when that happens, let's instantiate our projectile prefab. Now it would be nice if instead of it spawning just directly in the middle of the turret, it spawns kind of like at the, at the, um, what do you call it? At the end the end you know what i mean spawn point so we'll spawn it at the spawn point of position and the identity is fine for the rotation now if you remember on the projectile script we've got this init function here so let's immediately call init and our direction will be transform dot up back to unity on our turret. So we need to now put in the projectile prefab. So let's chuck that in. And then the spawn point. So I will create an empty game object here and call it spawn. And this will be right here. On the barrel? The barrel, I guess? I don't know. All right, let's give that a try. And that is incredibly slow projectiles. So let's just speed that up a little bit. Crazy rain outside. Hopefully that doesn't destroy the sound, but there we go. Uh, so hopefully that helped you. Uh, if it did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for the next tutorial.